fellow humans, welcome to Not Safe for Work Magic, and uh, today we're going to continue the horrible, awful, miserable, no good time that is Strixhaven Quick Draft. Um, this format has been the worst format I've played in, God, since I started playing Magic again, which was uh, Origins? I played back when the game started and then didn't play for quite a while, uh, probably after playing like five or six years, because I was a kid and magic's very fucking expensive and I was sick of getting bodied by, uh, you know, people with four Jace the Mind Sculptors in their deck. So uh, I stopped playing for a long time and started playing again in Origins and uh, got to the Pro Tour Unlimited. So some would say that Limited is my strongest format, but I have been getting absolutely fucking mangled in this format. Um, drafting decks with good curves, drafting decks with, uh, with good payoffs and powerful cards, and uh, either drawing pretty hilariously badly and dying, or uh, just getting killed by mythics and rares every fucking game. We've lost to Crackle, uh, Crackle with Power twice. We've lost to Dramatic Finale uh, with Ten the Past twice. Uh, like, we're just losing to every, every janky thing. We've been time warped. Like, I don't like that the format is so fucking unpredictable. And the board feels meaningless because the, uh, the Mythics and Rares and the Archives, like, fuck up the gameplay pattern so much. Like, I attacked, I mean an obviously good attack when my opponent had a blocker that couldn't block for shit and uh, one red mana up. So understanding what's in the format, I attacked because it, was, it would be correct there. My opponent had Infuriate, which is a Mystic Archive card, and blocked and ate my creature by one toughness, and uh, it was a bad time. I got fucked on that trade in a way that I could not have possibly predicted uh, I got totally fucked on that trade, and that, in combination with the fact that the uh, the drafting itself is clunky and unfulfilling, and the mythics just absolutely trounce your ass, makes for a really, really shitty format. Like, just a profoundly shitty format. This seems great. I have not been putting down my... Uh, my rares, and I keep fucking forgetting to put them on my sheet, so I'm going to go back to putting them on as I get them, so I don't keep forgetting them. A Gnarled Professor. One. Got it. Okay. Um, confront your ass. How's this do? What's this do? Return target Planeswalker card with mana value X or less from your graveyard. Remove twice X loyalty counters from... Eh, that's awful. We can't take that. Um, Flame Scroll Celebrant. Whenever an opponent activates an ability that isn't a man ability, deal one. Rebel in Silence. That's the uh, <clears throat> that's the card that cancels um, fucking uh, Assault I Ultimatum, right? So this is just a two one with Fire Breathing for two. If we're in red, which is maybe okay. Um, Professor Symbology is pretty good. Scourge Colony is fine if we want to stay in green. Um, huh. I don't really think green-white is a thing here, right? It's like green-blue or, or Boros, or is it? What's the most powerful card here? This is just a generic good card that makes us kind of want to be in, in uh, with a blue, maybe? But you can't be married to your first picks. And we'll just take the rare to guarantee that when this goes to shit, which it will, because this format is shit, we got two rares. Okay, flame. Mentor's Guidance is pretty good. Zimone is pretty good. Professor of Zumancy and Pledge Mage, both very good. Uh, wow. Huh. Uh, huh. How 
How the fuck do we pick here? These are all very good. I do like big, big, uh, big punchy boys. I do tend to like them. Zoomancy is just good, period. We don't know if we're blue yet, so I think we should just take one of these cards. Which is better? Is the Zoomancy better or is the Pledge Mage better? I, I really have no idea. Zoomancy is considered a C, B minus, and C by various uh, infinite mythic drafters. Ribbit. The Witherbloom Pledge Mage is considered a C, C plus, and C. So people seem to consider the Zoomancy a little better. We'll take it. We're almost certainly in green at this point. Master Symmetrist, yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's another Pledge Mage. Well, I hope that comes back around. Uh, I'd be happy to pick up any of these three on the way back, and uh, Leech, Fana uh, Leech Fanatic would be good if we end up going in that direction as well. We're just getting big beady boys. Big beady beefy boys. There's a Pledge Mage. Um, Dusk Speaker is pretty good. Fractal Summoning we know is good. We're getting all these big boys. We're going to fill in the, uh, the bottom of the curve at some point here. Huh, okay. So, here's where we wonder uh, where we're going, right? We've got Tangle Trap, which is pretty main deckable in this format. Uh, Amplifier, which is just an ordinary bear. Uh, a little better if we have Symmetrist out, I suppose. And uh, Arcane Subtraction and Defend are both pretty good. Um, we're not seeing any really powerful black options yet. And I don't know if we've seen any sort of signposts that we should be in blue either. Uh, we don't have to play this. We can. Uh, but that's not necessary at all. And I really don't think... Um, you can do a combination like Gruel in a format that's hostile to it, uh, meaning it's just not a school that's supported. I really want to take the Arcane Subtraction, but I don't know if we're going that direction or not. Yeah, we're going to need two drops. Pledge Mage is fine, but can be awkward. Expanded Anatomy is fine here, too. Expressive Iteration makes us want to be Quandrix Splashing Green, which obviously we can't do that. Um, Professor's Mourning and Expanded Anatomy are both fine here. As is Witherbloom Campus. Serpentine Curve is very, very good. Cram Session is pretty good. Huh. We've got no removal offered yet, which is a little worrisome. A little worrisome. We'll just take the most powerful card here and hope that uh, hope that we can use it um, that likely means this isn't getting played so I wouldn't mind being like splash black or splash blue at this point the, the colony came back that's pretty good that's a solid two drop with the upside that it can block early flyers like the Poet. Infuse of Vitality is good. Mentor's Guidance is good. I don't know which is better. Um, 
Infuse gets us a potential second learn trigger with uh, Professor or Zoomancy. Well, a token or a learn trigger. Um, Mentor's Guidance is just always drawing two cards and scrying two, which, you know, is solid. It's like a draw three ish. Now removal is non-existent at the moment. I kind of like this for fixing though. We're not really sure exactly what our colors are yet. We're not committed to a black splash yet, so. That's crazily late, honestly. Not sure if blue or black is the splash yet. Gotta be one of them though. Very late defend the campuses. Destroy each non land permanent with mana value two or less. Add. I don't think this is playable in limited, right? Yeah, it's not playable in limited. Um, Overgrown Arch can be very good if we get offered any uh, of the Menace Boyos, and that definitely makes us um, Blue Splash. Biograph is fine. There is no removal we can take here. Uh, we currently have two Learn cards and one Lesson, so we do have to keep that in mind. I think Overgrown Arch is the best card here. Another Professor of Symbology. That ship has sailed. Um, still no removal at all. Uh, none in black, none in red, none in green. Uh, we are 16 cards deep. We have not seen a single removal spell. Um, when things start going like this, I know, I know that I'm going to lose. Because I found removal to be so important in this format that it's kind of ridiculous how important it is. Nothing here is, is impactful at all. Uh, hunt for specimens is fine. A piece of fixing for our splash is fine. We have three learn cards already and only one lesson, so maybe Hunt doesn't matter that much now. Biomathematician could be good if we get more sacrifice effects, but it's just a dude. Honestly, I think I just want the campus. Ingenious Mastery is powerful enough that it qualifies as a big spell, I think. Uh, honestly, that could be, those could be the splashes if we cut, like, Curate and, uh, those. Again, we still have no, no removal. Not a single piece. Um. Oh, boy, this is, this is over before it began, huh? Ingenious Mastery. Number two. Conic Intervention was real good to us the run we had it, but obviously we can't play that now. Um, Zephyr Boots would give us a way to fly over and win with some of our potential bigger boys. Eureka Moment is just fine. Again, nothing, nothing important here. Uh, and nothing that screams there is a thing opened um, to me. It looks like Witherbloom, Witherbloom is closed. Um, we haven't seen any Witherbloom cards in three picks. But we haven't really seen much for Quandrix other than stuff like this. The low part of our curve is kind of miserable so far.
just infinity Eureka moments is not going to get us there. We're definitely Black Splash at this point, if if at all. Another cram session does not help us again. We have no no good lessons. I think we're taking the Befuddler here because our creatures are so weak at the moment, and a two drop that potentially trades seems okay. I assume Befuddler is a little better than Amplifier, but not by much. Yeah, people disagree on that. Okay, let's just take the Amplifier then. Fuck it. I guess Amplifier is decent late. Um, Burian Books is the first thing qualifying as removal we've seen, so we have to take that. As mediocre as that is. Um... Prismari Pledge Mage is probably fine. It blocks really well as a 2-drop. And you do have to have a fairly good early curve. Vortex Runner is a potential win condition. We could try to splash red for that, but I'm not very sold on that. Spectre of the Fens is pretty good. Is it worth splashing for? Probably not. Um, Spring Main's just a, a three drop and we're completely lacking in three drops, so I think we're probably taking that. Bayou Groff. Uh, Bayou Groff, probably the pick here. Again, we've seen no removal. Zero removal. Oh boy. I mean, it's sort of removal. I kind of feel like we have to play it. Um... Two Mentor's Guidance seems like too much when we already have Eureka Moment. Uh, this makes a Black Splash a lot easier if we if we do uh, get a Black Card worth playing. We still don't really have any lessons that matter either. All we've got is defend the uh, uh, expanded anatomy, and we've got three potential learn cards. Well, two, and the arch. One, two, three, four, five, six. We probably got enough two drops now. very powerful card that we cannot in any way play. Um, Divine Gambit, which is ridiculous. Uh, Quantrix Cultivator seems very, very good. Elemental Summoning. Um, although I think we kind of have to take the Mythic, because it's a Mythic. Uh, while this is good, it's not incredibly exciting or anything. Same goes for here. Elemental Summoning and uh, Quantrix Cultivator are really the two that I'd be most excited about. Let's just take the Mythic and make sure we got our value. Strategic Planning is fine. Aether Helix is maybe okay. Quandrix Pledge Mage, Burian Books, Arcane Subtraction. Huh. Is this Helix or Pledge Mage?
It is a much better three drop than the uh, spring main sir servin. Gosh, we still have just no interaction. I guess we could take the berry berry in books as well. We probably need the berry in books more. I mean, it blows up tokens really well. It's going to be pretty mediocre for every other thing. But blowing up tokens is probably the most important thing. Another rare we can't use. So I guess, uh, I guess Orsop was opened. Environmental Sciences is probably just the pick here. Just so we have a lesson to use. Third Burian Books or First Pledge Mage. This deck is so mopey, man. So, so mopey. I guess I'm just unlucky. I've, I feel like I've uh, drafted a fairly reasonable deck, but we've seen absolutely no pieces of removal in any color other than white. And it's not good removal. It's not like expel. We didn't see an expel. That might be enough to jump. This is obviously very, very open, but far too late for that to matter. Um, hmm. not castable for us. We're not going to have a third lesson. Got two pretty mediocre ones. Hmm. Power three or less. Actually, not going to have a lot of power three or less creatures. None of this stuff really makes the cut, does it? Brackish Trudge, probably the best card here, and worth splashing with double black. We've got a few things that gain us life. This is probably better than uh, Cram Session. I mean, it's mediocre, but it's a combat trick. Another way to get rid of a big token. Probably fine.
Yeah, we just, uh, I don't think we saw many lessons that were worth taking. The only one we ever saw was elemental, and that was as a pick one. This feels real weak. This feels real, real, real weak. There's just nothing we could have done about it either. Um, keep in mind, quick drafts are uh, are quite a bit different than traditional drafts. The bots draft in ways that are really, really strange, and uh, it can be a lot harder to find uh, to find a lane and figure out exactly what you're supposed to be doing because they don't they just take everything. Um, so you don't tend to see the signpost cards as often. And we did not see any signpost cards for, uh, for Witherbloom after the first pack. That just completely dried up. We started to see a lot of uh, powerful white-black, but that was towards the end of pack two and into the beginning of pack three. So we're already, we're already too far away from that as an option. We started off with very strong green cards, so that put us in a position where we really wanted to be Witherbloom or Quandrix, and both got just yanked away from us uh, really, really suddenly. Which left us in green, it's the primary color, and no, no school that uh, it paired with very well. Kinda sucks. Kinda sucks. Um, I guess we cut Cram Session. We've got Arcane, the one creature that learns, and our stupid Arch. We've got uh, only two lessons anyway, Expanded and uh, Environmental Sciences. So we're not going to play Crams. Um, Do we play a Swamp so we can fetch it with Environmental for our stupid Brackish Trudge? Do we have enough life gain things that we even want to play Brackish Trudge? Not really. So I'll just play one as a Scryland. Can I play two as a scry land? Yeah, I mean, I guess it sort of helps with Flood a little. We don't really have a top curve. We didn't get any of the uh, build a big monster cards like the uh, Leyland Invocation or Fractal. This feels like a pile that's going to be very, very, very hard to win with. Um, I don't think we need Opt. Our removal is so bad, I think we have to play Tangle Trap. almost considering cutting a land because I've been flooding so hard in so many games. And our initial curve is pretty low. try cutting a land. I'm going to try running 16. I don't think I've tried to run 16 yet. But I'm pretty low confidence with this pile as it is. Oh, I didn't write that mythic down I took. I'm going to go back in and add that in the list. So at least we got, I think, three rares and a mythic. 
is definitely our gems worth. Aggro for us. That's pretty unfortunate. I guess we're just countering whatever he does. I feel like the tempo we've lost has probably doomed us. So we've got six. Play two critters. No. Probably just dead to that, honestly. Yeah, more flying creatures. Yep. We had a lot of two drops, but uh, the fact that we drew the one we couldn't cast makes me think we gotta cut it. And, uh, sure. If we would have been able to cast that, we wouldn't have lost quite that badly. Probably still would have lost, though. A lot of flying, and we don't have a lot of answers to that. Two of these in here? I gotta I gotta cut one. I gotta cut one of those. I thought I cut down to one, but I guess I still had two. Well our opponents are just absolutely bombing us out. Like both opponents had Kogram of Age on turn three. I'm not sure it would have mattered what deck we were playing with uh, with the tempo our opponents are generating. Tangle Trap. 
So he's got a spectral fen. He's got a spectral fen. Okay. Uh, he could have attacked there. a million man at the moment. This would be the one time that I'd be happy for them to drop um, Finale. Spectre of the Fens, as predicted. Remember we, uh, we did cut the amount of land down. A four four now. That's probably fine. We can get it back with Helix. I mean, you might as well draw it. You can cast it this turn. Got something else in mind. get bombed out by a mythic or a rare yet. Playing an actual reasonable game of magic. Intro to Annihilation. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, yeah, probably Eureka moment here, right? was a game that was decided by regular cards, and it kind of felt like an actual game. Fun. I wish we could have more of those. Um, 
two drop desperation play if we need to I guess it's okay finding another forest will make it a lot better Double burying books, not great here. Uh huh, obviously. It's kind of painful. Uh, yeah, I guess we're not doing anything this turn. Oh shit, I keep forgetting to take one of those out. Fuck. Doing it to myself. Got a prof. Uh, yeah, I don't care. The hope is that if they have removal, they're gonna use it on this. And the flesh manager will. That okay. kind of sucks. Oh wow, they have mage duel. Yeah, I think we lose now because mage duel uh, allows their Groff to stay alive. Oh, mage duel. Okay, so. Expanded anatomy. If we hit this with expanded anatomy, he's got a block with multiple things. And that's kind of good. And then we can just bury one of the other ones. Is that reasonable? Oh, no, this is three, not two. No, no. Um, well, shit. I don't think we can attack anymore. I don't think we can attack them. I mean, that was the best case scenario for us. Serpentine curve currently sucks, but... God, all of our plays kind of suck, huh? Okay. Man, kind of wishing we had more mana, huh? I guess we're going to Mentors and hope we can find one. That would potentially let us leave Barry up. too many. Um, if we expanded anatomy, the wither bloom and swing, he'd have to block with the 4-3 and the 3-3. Three, three. We would be vulnerable to a trick. Uh, it's probably best I just leave Barry up, huh? Getting expanded played, though, makes curve more playable. Okay. I'm fine with that. It's kind of great. It's kind of 
great actually. You want to spend your old turn pumping that? That's fine. Um, huh. You can play Ingenious for one, two, three, for four. Hmm. Where's our opponent holding? Just all bombs? If we play it for four, we're gonna have to discard something. Maybe we play it for three? Huh. I don't know what we're supposed to do here. Seven. Yeah, let's just play both. Draw a bunch of shit next turn. What? Fuck my fucking life. Someone's playing that? Jesus. Okay. Rares, ladies and gentlemen, rares. Um, sure. Hold this as long as I can. Yeah, that's big. Barry? If he has a fractal summoning, we're in trouble. I guess we have the Aether Helix thing to get rid of that. I think we have two berries and Aether Helix. I think that's it for our removal. Okay. He can make a big toker. Okay. This is going to make our arc arcane subtraction really good. We're playing a regular game of magic. It's kind of great. Okay, I don't know what changed today, but um, two regular games of Magic uh, is incredible, considering I played this format five drafts and just had it go awful, awful, 
awful, awful, awful and awful. This is surprising. Maybe 16 land is the, uh, is the magic number. I'm gonna keep forgetting fucking get rid of one of these. Fuck! Um, this is... This is a little scary, but I think we have to keep it. That's really, really good. I got Tron. Okay. Wow. Flooding out. Are there creatures in the deck? Are there? We don't know. Might not be creatures in the deck. Powerful rare. I think we're just paying five for that, huh? Big boy. Actually, gonna get some use out of our tangle trap, which is nice. Um, we could play Eureka Moment, miss, and then kill ourselves, or <laughs> we could just uh, play this. I think we're gonna play Tangle Trap now too, just to play around like a negate or something. a good one. Not scary unless he starts putting counters on it, though. Okay, we're a little floody over here. A little floody with a buddy. Um, I guess we pass in Eureka Moment, so we keep up uh, Reckless Amplifier mana. Also keep up Baryon books if he has like a, a mage hunt or something. Well that. No blue mana to tap, folks. Good fucking lord. Of course his last card was Snakeskin Veil. <sighs> of course his last card was Snakeskin Veil. 
Um, the question is, do we... Do we Aether Helix it now, or do we just let him swing black with the arch so we at least get something back? Or is that stupid? Fuck it. We have ingenious mastery anyway. Turn target permanent to its owner sand. Why can't I cast this? You turn target permanent to its owner sand. Why can't I cast this? Oh, is it his turn still? It's his turn still. I'm an idiot. Okay. Wait. Yep. Can someone explain to me what just happened? I'd love for someone to explain to me what just happened. Why can't I cast the spell? Return target permanent to its owner's hand. Return target permanent card from your graveyard to your hand. Is it because I don't have a permanent in the graveyard? I think it's bugged. Yeah, I think we just confirmed that it's bugged. Okay. Okay, I get it now, I get it. You can't cast it if you don't have a permanent in the graveyard. It's bugged. All right. Um, I'm going to start a bug report for that. Um, there's another card that's bugged as well that you can't cast. The Deadly Brew. It never lets you return a permanent. G -A. Bug report. It's bugged. Sucks that we can lose because of that. We're eight life lower than we ought to be. Uh, sign in. Report a bug. Yeah, it sucks for me. Just infinite value off that thing too. He does. Sacrifice that too. Eh, it doesn't matter. Helix works now because it's bugged. Okay, how do I report a bug here? Sign in with a different thing. Okay.
search. Ether Helix. Ah, they know about it. Sure. That won't make things harder or anything. Uh, we've got a scry land. And... We cannot double pump Reckless Amplifier yet. We can start swinging and threatening the single pump though. Which is probably fine. mana, that'll be pretty amusing. Our opponent essentially has no land left in their deck. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, their the deck is all gas because of this. So we're probably not winning the long game. We can't activate Vortex Runner now. Probably should be swinging Graph too, but I don't know that it matters that much. Okay. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we could cast this for six, basically get an entire new hand. Let's do that. So one of those cards he has is a counter spell. Pump up as an option, which is pretty great. Sure. So we're not running that now. Probably just going to bury and boost the token. So, we can swing, threaten to double pump this to eight. It's an easy block for him right now. Um, we can pledge mage and just bury in books. I think that's the best thing for us, right? That uses all of our mana. We just want to do that now as well. We don't know what's in the deck, but we do want to give them as few chances to draw out as possible. Um, I 
Oh shit, that's a 2-5 now. I'm an idiot. It's a 2-5 now, folks. It's a 2-5. Doing that just to pump the flame, for sure, sure. Yeah, it's a good play. Okay, so we can get the uh, expanded anatomy. I think it's probably what we want to do now. We still have that in there, right? Yeah. Uh, so we've got one, two, four. What do we have? Uh, Eleven. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Most of our good cards, I think, here. Both berries and our helix. Don't think I have any way to get rid of the uh, flame painter at all. Should have been smarter to just vortex runner and put the counters on that. He can scry twice a turn. Pretty annoying. He's got to be close to about a gas, too, though. So we can always swing with this. Um, this can become an 8-8, eight, eight, which is still not quite good enough. Still not quite good enough. Um, huh. Because if we swing with this and he double blocks, we can make this a. F nah, it still doesn't do it. Pretty useless.
5 to any target and 3 to the other. I guess we just square up here. I assume the 3 was going here. to 10, 12. Most of what's left of our deck is land. Okay. Uh, most of what's left of our deck is land. Once we get to 15 now, we effectively have a 16-16. All we can do, folks. We'll start uh, double scrying on our end step to see if it matters, but I think if we just draw two more lands, that's actually fine. Bigger and bigger and bigger flame painter. Yep. Uh, we can actually counter that. You can also just chump that for one and get a really big swing in. Which I think would be pretty bad for him. Kinda what I thought. It's uh Thirteen? I thought we had thirteen last turn. Hmm. Okay. We we're actually gonna run out of cards. Well, maybe he's gonna run out of cards. It could get to the point where we actually cannot block the uh, the flame painter. I mean, we can't kill it in combat. Why is my phone blowing up? Okay, okay. Cool. He puts a counter on his vortex. Huh? That's the play? Okay. Sure. Uh huh. So pump this twice to eight. Just block with everything. Okay. 
assume all that's left in this deck is just going to land. Although, that's probably what's left in ours. Well, three of them. Half of our deck is land. Sure. Shall we block you? Block you. Block you. So let's see, we hit him for 8, 9, 10, 11, 15 is not lethal. So let's do this. Lots better than ours. Shit, we're dead in two turns. Yep, you got me. I'm not sure if there's something I could have done differently here, but we are, uh, we are dead. We have died. Pledge Mage does not change anything. That's 14. We've died. Uh, right. Have we died? I think we've died. Yeah, we died. Well, that was long and unpleasant. Not sure what else we could have done there. I guess if we, if we would have got to 15 lands, we would have been able to win. If I hadn't got rid of my Symmetrist, I would have still had Trample. They had two snakeskin veils, which really fucked us up. Countering the uh, the Barian books and the big token really blew me out. This isn't very good, but I think it's probably okay.
Well, mentor's guide will uh, hopefully help smooth things out a bit. Gosh, it would be nice to have a game where I uh, can get more than two wins. to play the land. Small mistake, but costly. Pretty cold to enthusiastic study here. very punished for uh, playing the land out early. Okay. Do we double block this to play around enthusiastic study or no? Well, now, now since he did that, there's just no way it matters. Understand any of that. Um, so we can tangle trap and scurred. Yeah. Better just drop the big boy. Drop it to big boy. And we are still playing defense. We're still playing defense. We got both the uh, reach dude and tangle trap. We also have our plant wall in there somewhere. Okay. Now I think we're just doing this. And stacking. One man away from uh, Colony and uh, Vortex Runner having their uh, glow up. Not yet. Also got a lot of good card draws still on our deck, so... Um, yeah. We've got him on the rope, so let's continue. Let's continue to pressure.
If he has like draconic intervention, we just roll over and die. Guess he wouldn't have anything to feed it, really. So we're not cold to that yet. I am going to take out a Wither Bloom after this <laughs> and go get a cup of coffee. Dangerously close to actually uh, having three wins in this format, which is incredible. Our opponent either deeply in the tank or uh, having to uh, run to pee. This is a weird place to rope me. Very happy to draw land next turn. Has to block these two. This, this, and this would make lethal. Yeah, we got a full swing. As much as the uh, optimal play in my brain is the colony and the vortex runner are so close to their, uh, their power up. But if your opponent's dead, then you win. So, you know, let's just kill them. Let's just go with the kill them plan. Gonna get another cup of coffee, gonna take one of these wither blooms out and replace it with just a regular old forest. There's two of them does seem to be a little awkward, and we use most of our mana pretty well because of all of our stupid amplifiers, so don't often have the spare mana for those. Oh yeah, and what was the uh, what was the mythic? We forgot. Uh, Extus, Extus, Extus. One. All right. So we've definitely gotten our value out of this one.
would I even care? some musicians I might be working with later today. Oh. Too many hobbies, folks. Too many hobbies. All right, we got three wins. That's uh, that's normally the point we get to in uh, Calpine. Our records were a heck of a lot better in that format than this one. We got a two drop. We got a three drop. We're all right. bad here. Um, second forest? Yeah, we need that. Not exciting, but we need it. Okay, so we're flooding a little bit. We're flooding a little bit, folks. play this so if we do end up wanting to play square up uh, we can win the trade so 
we want to keep the trade up or do we just want to keep pressuring them? Let's just pressure them. This leaves us vulnerable to a... Uh, okay. I'm going to say vulnerable to a mage hand. But better they counter that than the uh, Witherbloom. race but uh, okay so we've got six we can huh six is actually really awkward huh six is actually pretty damn awkward Seven is what we needed. That's really scary. Can't block because we could get blown out. Fucking life. Well, this game's over. This game's over, folks. Yeah. We didn't see a single mage duel. Yeah, we, we lost. Alright, well, to make up for the uh, super long game in the middle that we also lost. We had a final game that was a complete and utter blowout. There was no playing around that. Uh, we were worried about Mage Hand, or Mage Duel. He had Mage Duel. Um, just did not draw out the way we needed to. Him getting the Mentor with his Quandrix in play and us not. Uh, yeah, we just got absolutely crushed. Okay, so once again, I still think this format sucks. Uh, we did get to play a couple games that felt like actual games, though, and that's nice. Uh, but for the most part, my experience with this is still overwhelmingly um, that it's been shit. So, I don't know what to do with that. Uh, take that at face value. But we're going to continue playing as long as uh, as long as we have the sanity to, really. Uh, which might not be for that long. In which case, we'll um, probably go back to, like, Teamer Adventures or try Naya or uh, something else. I really don't want to build um, Cycling. Even though I think Cycling is probably the best position deck right now, I don't want to spend a bunch of wild cards on shit that's going to be rotating. So, you know, uh, my name's been Gravity Groove. This has been Not Safe for Work Magic. If you have enjoyed the show, the content, the drafting, please consider liking and subscribing. Remember, on this show, we do not curate wins. I do not edit together strings of games to make it look like I am supernaturally awesome. Uh, I show you exactly what happens in real time, just like a real stream. And uh, I'm pretty unlucky. So, uh, I got to the Pro Tour. <laughs> no, it's hard to believe from these records. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hope to see you again soon. Boom. <laughs>